Ghost of a Tale is an adventure game. Wait, no, it's an RPG. Hold on, I got it this time. It's a stealth action platforming RPG with an emphasis on exploration and puzzle solving in the vein of classic point and click adventure games. Got it? Good. But does it succeed in meshing all of these genres and playstyles into one cohesive experience, or does it bite off more than it can chew? Let's take a look. You awaken in a dimly lit medieval-style prison, with no recollection of the events that led you into this dire predicament. You are Tylo, an adorable minstrel mouse who exists in a world controlled by rats. You see a few items in your immediate vicinity, some food, supplies, and a note. You pick up the note, and you find a key underneath of the aged paper. Someone, or something, has freed you from your cell, and so begins your journey. Ghost of a Tale follows Tylo as he attempts to solve the mystery of his missing wife and escape the rat-ruled island of Dwindling Heights. Along the way, he will encounter a charming cast of characters who will aid him on his quest. Ghost of a Tale has no voice acting, but this cast of unlikely creatures is written so well that you won't even notice its absence. There were a few occasions when I actually laughed out loud at some of the dialogue in this game. And for those that want it, the lore of the game runs deep. It's presented in footnotes and books that Tylo can find spread throughout the world. I typically don't care about this kind of thing in video games, but this one actually made me want to learn more about its captivating world. The whole history is there if you want it. The first thing you'll notice when you boot up Ghost of a Tale is its visuals. The vibrant world and its colorful characters are a joy to look at. The game has sort of a Pixar in real life quality to it. This visual style and the moody lighting perfectly complement this game's surprisingly dark story. However, as good as the game looks, it's also a bit rough around the edges. Playing on a PS4 Pro, the frame rate leaves a lot to be desired. Choppy animations and texture pop-ins are all too common. These technical issues give an overall unpolished feeling to the game. As I mentioned earlier, Ghost of a Tale is a game that doesn't seem sure of what it wants to be. It bills itself as an action role-playing game, but it doesn't seem to serve either of those genres particularly well. Sure, there are some RPG elements like leveling up and a few new skills, but the experience would be more or less the same without the inclusion of these elements. And it is certainly not an action game. Tylo can't even engage in combat, save for throwing the occasional stick or bottle at a rat. As far as I'm concerned, Ghost of a Tale is at its core an adventure game. An adventure game with an identity crisis. The benefit of blending all of these genres into one is that it definitely makes for a unique game. But the downside is that it doesn't truly bring the best of what any of these genres have to offer. The gameplay mostly consists of completing quests for different characters. You usually will have to provide them with an item, and in return they will give you something that you need to progress. With this quest structure, you will be doing a ton of backtracking, which leads me to one of my biggest gripes with this game, the stealth gameplay. As you begin the game, you really do feel the need to hide from the overgrown rodents patrolling the grounds around you. It helps to build a good sense of tension, and it makes you feel helpless. But as the game progresses, the stealth portions just start to feel like an inconvenience, since Tylo is incapable of eliminating the enemy rat guards. He can only avoid them or briefly incapacitate them. As you continue to complete quests, you will be forced to encounter the same guards over and over and over again. You can either sacrifice your movement speed and disguise yourself as a rat guard to pass them without alarm, or or just speed past them until you reach your destination, which is what I ended up doing for the majority of the game. The rats will continue to be in alert mode until you hide. After that, they will return to their set patrol routes. They never even make an attempt to search for you when you're in a hiding spot. On the positive side of things, the level design of Ghost of a Tale keeps you engaged by creating a real sense of exploration. The paths that Tylo can take are constantly evolving thanks to the way that the game cleverly ties its areas together. Once you think that you are familiar with a given area, the game throws a curveball at you. New paths are constantly opening up that allow you to rethink your best approach to any of Tylo's numerous quests. It's very similar to a game like, dare I say it, Dark Souls, and that's a good thing. And again, just like the aforementioned Souls game, Tylo explores the world with very little guidance from the game. It's easy to lose your sense of direction in the game's labyrinth-like levels. Thankfully, if you are truly stuck, the blacksmith Rollo can provide assistance. For a price, of course. In addition to the main quest line, the game offers many side quests and collectibles for all of you completionists out there. Tylo can also obtain different outfits, some of which are required to progress the story, and others just alter your stats to best suit your style of play. Have you ever seen a more adorable pirate? No. No, you haven't. 
It took me just over eight hours to complete Ghost of a Tale. I did mostly enjoy my time with it, though it wasn't without its issues. The all-around unpolished feel of the game and its numerous glitches did take away from my experience a bit. There was one instance where a rat henchman got stuck in a wall while searching for me. Since the game doesn't allow you to save your progress or change outfits while the guards are in alert mood, I was forced to reload the game and lose a good amount of progress. In addition to these glitches, the repeat fetch quests and backtracking began to really feel stale by the end of the game. I found most of my enjoyment from the game's excellent world design, story, and sense of exploration. If you are looking for a game that doesn't hold your hand, offers a captivating world to get lost in, and rewards exploration over combat, then this game is for you. But if you are someone who typically enjoys a more fast-paced, action-oriented experience, or a good stealth game, then Ghost of a Tale probably isn't going to be your cup of tea. What are your thoughts on Ghost of a Tale? Have you played it? Let us know. As always, thanks for watching, and see you next week. Game. Game.